It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to share all your Google Home devices with other people. So, Google Home devices are a very cool smart speaker. This is the Google Home Mini. There's a whole, a whole lot of different ones. Timmy's talked about them many times before. And so if you don't know much about Google Homes, you can go back and watch previous episodes about that. But so, you, they're very handy to have all over your house. And it also has personalized options. So you can ask it to add things to your calendar and stuff like that. So you can have personalized option, options linked to your Google account. And that's really cool. But what if there's more than one person in your house? So you might have a different person in your house that wants to be able to speak to it and get different information. So they could add calendar events to their calendar and you could add calendar events to your calendar and all that kind of stuff like that. So it's much better to have them shared across everyone's account rather than just having it on one account. So it's much easier that everyone can get their own information. So that's really cool and you can do this in a really easy way using the Google Home app that Timmy's going to show you in a minute. And so once you've done this, it'll mean that they can speak to Google Home and it will actually recognize their voice and then it will listen to the, so it'll recognize their voice and then give them information that's personalized to them. And what it also means is they can have the Google Home app on their phone and they can use that app on their phone to control all the home devices and stuff like that. So it's really cool and it's really good to share the Google Home Google Homes, so that's really cool, and in this episode, Timmy's going to show you how to do that. So, first of all, you'll need to go onto your phone, because you're the one that set the Google Home up originally, and so now, now that you're, oh, open up the Google Home app, so it's all open like this, and then just tap Add. And so once you've tapped Add, you'll see here in this list, Invite Home Members, so you can tap that. And now you'll need to type their email address. So it has to be the email address that's associated with their Google account. So it might not necessarily be a Gmail address. It might be a different email address that they've got associated with their Google account. But it has to be the email address that is associated with their Google account. So once you've entered the email address that is associated with that person's Google account, you can just tap Save. And it says invite home member and you can see all the information about how you'll be sharing it with that home member and all the devices you'll be sharing. And then once you've looked through all that information you can just tap send invite and it's going to send an invitation email to them. And so now the person that you're inviting will receive this email that says you've been invited and it has all the information about that and then they can tap view invitation. And it says open with home, and that's the Google Home app, so you can just say just once or always. It might look a little different if it's an iPhone or an older version, older Android phone, but it's just something like that. It might say open or something like that. So just do that, and then they'll be brought here. And so once they arrive here, they'll see pending invitation up here, so they can tap on pending invitation. And it says, Timmy Beanie invited you to join this home. So they can scroll down and see all the information about it if they want. Or tap more and it scrolls down to the bottom. And then just tap accept if they want to accept it. And now it will be asking them to give the home a nickname. So if they have access to multiple homes with Google Homes in them, then they might want to add nicknames to all of them to differentiate it. So they can just type in there whatever they want to call it. And then just tap next. And now it says set up voice match. So this is the voice match thing Timmy was talking about before, where if they speak to Google Home, it will recognize their voice and give them their personalized information. So if they've already taught Google to recognize their voice another time, they'll be able to skip this step because it, they, Google already knows their voice. But if this is their first time with a Google Home device or anything like that, then they will have to go through this next process to register their voice. So they'll just tap next. And it says all this information about before using the Google Assistant. They can just tap next. And now it's saying teach Google Assistant to recognize your voice. So this is where if Google already recognized their voice, th there would be a thing that would pop up and say Google already recognizes your voice and they'd go on to the next step. But if Google does not yet recognize their voice, then they'll have to tap I agree and start the process. So just say whatever comes up on the screen. 
Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. And now it's complete, so that'll just take a minute to set up voice match. And now voice match has been successfully completed, so it's moved on to add media services. So if they have different music accounts and stuff like that, they can link them here so that they'll get their own music and stuff. So that if they ask Google to play music with their voice, it'll play it using their specific service. But if they don't want to do that, they can just tap not now. And then the same with Netflix and Stan, so that they could ask Google to play Netflix or Stan onto a Chromecast if they wanted to, so they can link them in if they have those accounts, or just tap next if they don't. And they, then they get an option to stay in the know, so it'll send them emails about new features of Google Home and stuff like that, so they can tap sign up if they want to, or if they don't want emails, they can just tap no thanks. And then it's done. So that's all done now. So that was a, just a really easy, simple process to do. And that's all set up. So now they'll be able to use Google Home just like you can. And so it's all, all working customized to them when they speak. And it's still customized to you when you speak. So that's really cool and really convenient. And that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.